weak conductor of electricity so therefore sea water yeah. you see since it has different types of impurities along with salt it produces more ions yes sir water produce yeah. more ions okay arhan and arham sea water will be yes, producing sir. more ions now next yes, question sir. Question number nine says that is it safe for the electrician to carry out electrical repairs outdoors during heavy downpour, during heavy rainfall? Is it safe? No, Obviously, no. Right? No, sir. Okay, now yes, because sir. you see, especially in the rainwater, rainwater, you see, rainwater is not pure; it's impure, right? Hmm. If you were yes, to sir. check the yes, TDS sir. of TDS, if you were to check the TDS of rainwater, it's somewhere around hundred, right now. Hmm. So rainwater is yes, not sir. very pure. Okay, now. So there's a high chance that electricity will be conducted, and there are chances that the person might get electrical shock. Yes, sir. Hmm. Question number ten. Arhan, please read the question. <laughs> Firstly, I had heard that rainwater is as good as distilled water, so she collected some rainwater in a glass uh, tumbler and tested it using a tester to a supply. She found that the compressed needle showed deflection. What could be the reason? Okay, Ahmed, you tell me this. What could be the possible reasons? Huh? What? Yes, sir. what could be the possible reason for this if the compass needle shows deflection say i have to attach a compass here for example okay if there is a deflection in the needle of the compass if it gets deflected it means that electricity is flowing through it now electricity is flowing in the wire right yes sir yes sir getting it now also we discussed that whenever exactly magnetic field is produced so it shows that the rainwater is a good conductor of electricity and the possible reasons why rainwater is a good conductor of electricity guys because it may have salt salt minerals acids yes sir hmm 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 okay look you there are na sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide gases present in the air that when gets mixed with rainwater yeah acid rain Acid rain. Acid rain. Although, yeah. Although acid rains are not everywhere. Okay, it will be particularly yes, seen in uh, area where there is uh, industries where industries are set up. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Apart from that, you see dust particles are also in the air, and there are several gases also present in the air. These are all the yeah. different types of impurities. Can you understand? Thereby, it makes the medium a good so uh, good conductor of electricity. Yes, sir. yes sir okay question number 11 look at the materials around your sub data electroplated can you think of some of the examples there are so many examples this spoon which one spoon a uh, please repeat i am not unable to hear you properly this spoon okay chairs you are talking about no <laughs> yeah there there are some chairs okay For example, S T W L tools. Okay, sorry, sorry. T W L. Yeah. yeah, there are several tools that are electroplated. Tools. Yeah, tools, tools are also tools. there, right? And for example, you have other examples also. For example, uh, we can count the cans also, no? Cold yes, drink sir. cans. Yeah. Cold drink, yes, cold drink cans. Okay, are basically tin plated. There's a plate of tin over the cold drink cans. Artificial yes, jewelry items are also there. For example, you have silver. Yeah. Okay. So the non-jewelry, yeah, uh, jewelry items are also electroplated, right? Which one? The normal uh, jewelry art items. Hmm hmm hmm. The normal jewelry that you see, na, that is also electroplated because. Gold or silver in pure state, they are in liquid state, so they are also yes, plated over a very uh, uh, over a metal. They take a base met metal and over that it is electroplated. Metal doors yes, are also some of the examples, yes, right now. Door yeah. handles, door handles. You will see they are zinc plated. 
Hmm. On the door handles, there's a layer of zinc coated over it. Getting it now. Okay, yes, last yeah. last question of the chapter. The process that you saw in activity fourteen point seven. So you you will have to refer to the this activity in your book. Okay, I don't have the PDF right now. Okay, guys, if you are having your book, please refer to this activity fourteen point seven. Um, yes, sir. Okay, and basically in that activity, it says, uh, purification of copper was being done, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So purification of copper was being done in activity fourteen point seven. Look, uh, look at the activity in your books. Okay, and here it says a thin plate of copper, of pure copper, and a thick rod of impure copper are used as electrodes. If you, I think we uh, discuss the same activity in the class as well. You guys remember we yes, have sir. discussed that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So here, a thin plate of copper was being used. Okay, and a thick rod of copper was also being used. So the question is asking what, Ahmed? Please read the question further. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, which question, sir? Question seven. Question number two. Question. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, the process that you saw in activity four. 14.7 is used for purification of copper. A thin plate of pure copper and a thick rod of pure copper are used as electrodes. Copper from impure rod is sought to be transferred to the thin copper plate, which electrode should be attached to the pointer terminal of the battery and valve. Hmm. So the question is in that copper. Um, a thin plate of pure copper and a thick rod of impure copper is used. So this copper here is impure here, right now. Yes, copper sir. from yeah. impure rod is sought to be transferred to the thin copper plate. So copper from this impure rod is meant to be transferred to this thin copper. So we are yes. trying to deposit the coppers from here to here on the thin copper. So yes, this sir. one is, is supposed to be pure copper. Right now, guys. Yeah. So, which electrode should be attached to the positive terminal of battery and why? You know that whenever you are trying to do the process of electroplating, or whenever here you are doing the process of purification, actually, we are trying to purify mm -hmm. a purify a impure metal. So, in yes, that, sir. you know, impure metal is always connected to the positive terminal. Impure oh. copper plate, you know, yes, this sir. will be connected to the positive terminal, positive. right? The positive yes, terminal, if you guys remember. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. Anode. Exactly. Wearing it now. That will be yes, sir. an anode. While the pure copper plate will be connected to the negative terminal cathode. of the electrode. That is going to be cathode. Cathode. Good. Okay, getting it now. As copper ions, you know, these are positively charged now. So the copper yes, ions that will break from it, okay, they will be accumulating to the cathode. And we know cathodes are negative. Negative, yes, sir. Negative electrode, while the anode is a positive electrode. Also, I told you guys mm. that how do we find out, how do we make an electrode as anode or cathode? For example, if we are required to make a electrode as positive as anode we will connect it to the positive terminal of the battery right now we say positive terminal se connect karte hai. then yes, sir. only then it becomes anode right now arhan okay or if yes, you sir. were to make it negative you will connect it to the negative terminal so always rem remember yeah. that impure copper is made the anode while the pure copper is made the cathode yes, sir. hope that is hope that is clear Yes, also, sir. guys, can you guys tell me that which electrolyte could be taken here? It could be salt of copper sulfate. copper sulfate can be taken. It could be a, apart yes, from copper sulfate, you can take any other electrolyte also. But make sure that it sulfate. consists of exactly it consists of copper in it. We need to make sure of that. Yeah. Okay now. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So here the anxiety exercises have been finished, but 
but i have taken few more questions for you guys okay i have taken question from the examiner section also yeah so can you assign them yeah sure i will be assigning them before do tell me ye bahut zyada to nahi hoga aap logo ke liye because you have sufficient amount of time final exams ke liye bahut time hai bhi right yes sir okay yeah. so the more you practice more you will be excelling in your class right now ahmed yes, arhan aur hum okay yes, sir. okay starting from ahmed right ahmed aap se shuru karte hain question number 1 okay. ahmed next question arhan then arham <laughs> okay if someone fails to answer the question will be transferred to the next student okay okay yes, sir hmm hmm Okay, look at the question number one. Ahmed, read the question. Uh, an electric current can produce uh, a heating effect only, chemical effect only, magnetic effect only, chemical heating and magnetic effect, uh, magnetic effect. Hmm. The answer is B, sir. The answer is B. Exactly D. It can produce chemical heating and magnetic effect also, right? Now, okay. Yes, that's yes, why if you have, for example, if you were to talk about heating effect in electrical heaters, electrical heaters, the wire becomes hot. No, the coil yes, becomes yes, hot. It becomes red hot. Or you have example of the tungsten filament used is in the electric bulbs also. Also, that becomes also yes, hot and gives glows also. ओके अरहान नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मुझे आज पहली परफॉर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट टेकिंग सिमिलर बल्ब्स एंड सेल बट टू डिफरेंट सॉल्यूशन ए एंड बी एज शोन इन फिगर दे फाउंड दैट द बल्ब इन सेटअप ए ग्लोज मोर ब्राइटली एज कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ सेटअप बी यू वुड कंक्लूड दैट हायर करंट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सर्किट इन सेटअप ए Hmm. What do you think? Which option is the correct one? Sir, obviously option number A, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, Arham. Um, Bhujo's uncle has set up an electrocuting factory near his village. He should dispose hmm. of the waste of the factory according to the disposal guidelines of the local authority. Exactly. Good. <laughs> okay, Ahmed. Yes, Next question is to you. Oh, okay. I can't see the yeah. question. Question number four. Yes, When electric current is passed through a conducting solution, there is a chance of color of the solution. This indicates the chemical effect of the heating effect on the magnetic field. Uh, is it the lightning effect, sir? Please read the question uh, once again. Okay. Oh, okay. If you are ever in doubt, just read the question twice. Okay. And at least uh, even in a, even in your school exam, you should at least read the question twice. Okay, now we'll continue. So is it the magnetic effect? Look here. What change are we observing here? Hmm, what change is observed? <clears throat> okay, okay. You can answer. So it's chemical effect of current. Chemical effect of A. current. Okay, now I believe uh, Ahmed, you were absent in the starting of the class because in the starting of the class we discussed that whenever current passes through a liquid solution, three types of changes can be observed. Okay, what can we observe? There can be so, evolution of hmm? gas bubbles. Electric gas heating and change in color. Exactly, gas bubbles could be evolving. In fact, uh, in class nine, you will hear of a term called as effervescence. Effervescence. Effervescence is nothing but the evolution of gas. Okay, when oh, gases yes, evolve in chemical solutions, then that is that phenomena is not known as effervescence. Anyways, next thing we observe that color was changing. and then metal deposition was also being discussed okay ahmed aap isse please yaad kar le okay 
three points are very important. Okay, sir. Okay, so option A is the correct sir, one. Hmm. <laughs> Next question. Arham. I'm Arham. Okay, Arham, it's you. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Which one of the following solution will not conduct electricity? Sir, it's mm -hmm. vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Very good. Okay, Arham. Which of the following materials is used in electrocuting to make hmm. objects appear shining? It's chromium. It is chromium. chromium. Very good. Very good. Okay. By the way, in question number five, Arhan, why the vegetable oil will not be conducting electricity? So since it's a pure solution. No, the exact reason is that it does not contain iron. Pure, that is correct. But a specific answer, your answer is specific. It does not contain iron. Getting it now? So that's why it will okay. not be conducting electricity. Okay, now. Ahmed, question number seven. Uh, look at the diagram first, then read the question. Have a look uh, at the diagram. Sir. Okay, now. Done? Sir, any question? Question number seven. Yes, sir, but I don't see question. I just see a diagram. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I said. You to have a look at the diagram first, then read this question. Okay, that is the question. Hmm. Yes, sir. Which of the following solution will not make the bulb in this figure 14.2 glow? In the previous figure, which solution will not make the bulb glow? Sodium chloride, copper sulfate. Sodium chloride is NaCl, copper sulfate is CuSO4, or silver nitrate, that is EgNO3. Okay. Silver or nitrate. So, which will not glow? Silver nitrate. Silver nitrate. No. Sir, can I answer? You can answer. Say it sugar solution. In the yes, sir. Water. Hmm. Sugar it's solution good. in diluted water. Mention the and the question is very specific. It is in diluted water, not in tap water. Yes, so look, yes, sugar sir. solution, Ahmed. Sugar solution kya hota hai na? It is neither acidic, na hi ye acidic hota hai. It is nor basic, right? So it cannot ionize to conduct electricity. When you will add sugar solution in distilled water, it will not ionize. The ions will break. Nahi hoga, so it will not conduct electricity. Similarly, you see distilled water. Exactly. Similarly, distilled water also has no ions in it to conduct electricity. Hence, the mixture of sugar solution and distilled water here will not be conducting the electricity. Had it be had the question been like this, tap water, then what is your answer? Kya hota hai, Ahmed? Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't understand the question. Wait, yeah, I am saying that had the question been like this, sugar solution in tap water instead of distilled water, then what would you say then? Then the answer would also be same. Then the answer would also be same. Why is it so? Look, the question says that which of the following solution will not make the bulb glow? Sodium chloride will make the bulb glow. Copper sulfate will make the bulb glow. Silver nitrate will also make the bulb glow. Because these are salts. All three compounds here are salts. Now, diluted water ki pe humne tap water use kiya. So tap waters will be ionizing now. It consists of ions. Yes. So it would the answer would have been none of the above then. None of all these all these options. Okay now. Yes, sir. Okay now back to Arhan. Arhan C question number eight. Okay. The, the object to be electroplated is taken as Hmm. Dash electrode, positive electrode, positive. What is the name of that electrode? Anode. Huh? The object Anode. to no, the object to be electroplated is. We are not talking about the um, purification. We are talking about the electroplating here, specifically. It would be cathode. Now, look here. 
okay what we were doing uh, if you were to look at this activity there was deposition of copper from this thick impure rod of copper onto this thin copper now and copper being positive copper being positive and negative copper will be deposited since it is positive it will be deposit deposited onto the cathode now ha huh? arhan arham ahmed what do you guys yes, say yeah, yeah so so the metal sorry uh, the metal to be electroplated will be cathode always getting it now okay yes sir yes sir also you can add one more thing in the process of purification the negative electrode is made the the pure electrode is taken as the negative electrode that is cathode yes sir okay or vice versa okay hmm. yes sir arhan continue the mirror of the most common application of chemical effect of electric current is hmm um, to change in color application 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 ki baat ho rahi hai jisse hum istemal mein le aate hain apne istemal mein laate hain change in color no it's not widely exactly electroplating okay then arham see question number c and d answer them yes sir small amounts of mineral salt present naturally in water makes it a dash of electricity conductor of electricity conductor of electricity good okay next question electric electroplating of dash is done on objects like water and tap uh, water taps and cycle bell to give them shiny appearance a uh, chromium chromium good okay ahmed yes question number 9 yes uh, why is a layer of zinc coated over iron it's zinc zinc oh it's zinc sorry sir um because of the electricity mm hmm Can yes, you can answer. Yes, you can answer. So the uh, this process of uh, mm -hmm. this process of uh, depositing zinc over iron is called galvanization, and it is done due, uh, uh, to prevent uh, the iron from rusting. Exactly, exactly. That is the reason here. Yes, sir. It prevents okay, corrosion. Exactly. So you know, iron it reacts with the air to form rust hmm. it also reacts yes, with the air and moisture to form rust right now in order to prevent yes, it basically from rusting zinc is coated over it by the process of electroplating and this specific process has been called as galvanization okay next yes, question sir. arhan c question number 10 will the solution will the solution of sugar, uh, sugar in distilled water conduct electricity No, it's the same as question uh, number seven's option. We had the same sir. type of option, question number seven, right? Hmm. Since, so since uh, distilled water is uh, does not contain iron. Mm hmm. Also, sugar solution is neither acidic nor basic, so it cannot yes, ionize. It will not ionize. Okay, sugar. Will not ionize. Good. Okay. Next question. Question number eleven. Or we look at this question. Uh, name the effect of uh, current responsible for the glow of the bulb in an electric hmm. circuit. A uh, chemical effect. Which one? Chemical effect. No. It's not heating effect. Heating. Heating effect of electric current. Remember when we talked about the effects. No, no where we, oh yes, sir. Chemical. When we yes, talked yes, about chemical sir. effect, no, where we talked about heat. Right, yes, guys. Sir. So it would be heating heat effect. Energy. Exactly, heating effect of electric current. Okay. All right. Also, you when we can see that no, where we talked about the magnetic effect of electric current. Also, right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Question number two. Two all. It's a short answer type question, Ahmed. 
is see the question okay sir who do make the circuit given fig 14.3 and observe the bulb did not glow on the pahili suggestion he added one more chair in the circuit the bulb now glows explain um hmm. there was no uh just what could have been the possible reason there would be no electricity or any charge present in it no the charge was present in it now because there was okay, a bulb okay give ahmed uh, some time okay now so ahmed the charge was already there now but it was not sufficient enough so basically uh, on pehli suggestion buju has done what here she has added one more cell in the circuit so adding one more cell in the circuit will do what yes aapne ek aur cell isme add kar di is battery mein then it will do what earlier the charge was not sufficient it will glow na no it will glow it will glow but basically kya ho raha hai if you add the number of if you increase the number of cells in the battery then what happens okay okay arhan aap explain kare so the number of bulbs uh, so the number of cells which are present in this circuit uh, was hmm. possibly not enough for the Uh, electricity to conduct exactly exactly so when we added one more cell then the magnitude of electric current was increased it increased the magnitude of electric current flowing in the circuit increased thereby making the bulb glow getting it ahmed this was the reason okay now next question arhan seek question number 13 Pahili set up an experiment using liquid A in beaker in the beaker as shown in figure fourteen point four. She observed that the bulb glows. Then, uh, then she replaced the liquid A by another liquid B. This time, the bulb did not glow. Bojo su suggested replacing the bulb by an LED. They observed that the LED glows. Explain. Mm. So since uh, LED re uh, requires less amount of energy and since mm -hmm. it not based on yes. the heating effect of the electric mm -hmm. current, mm -hmm. that's why the uh, LED glows. Mm -hmm. What about the replacement of the liquid? Why, if the liquid was replaced, then what happened? This. Uh, uh, The possible reason was that uh, the liquid not uh, liquid was not strong enough for the uh, exactly electric mm -hmm. current. Mm -hmm. So you see, the liquid B might have been weaker. It might have been weaker. Getting it now to uh, make the bulb glow, while the liquid B was strong enough to make the LED bulb glow. Good. Next question uh, is to Arham. You. डन right now okay because yes, the metal on which you are trying to do the electroplating has to be the negative one that is cathode good and this electrolyte is egno3 and sir yes sir silver nitrate okay. hmm silver nitrate good next question ahmed question number 15 Why then electroplated on iron to make caps used for storing food? 
इट्स कैन कैन सी ए एन कैन ओके ना यस व्हाई इज इट डन सो द फूड इज इट लाइक इज इट ओके टू स्टोर फूड्स इन आर एन ऑब्जेक्ट यस सर नो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट is it good to store foods in cans made of iron only huh like the lunch box would you take your lunch in an iron box in an iron tiffin uh, box no sir possibly no right now obviously no because the iron will react with the oxygen now with the atmosphere yes, with the moisture it will corrode it will basically corrode and also not it will not only the iron will be corroding the food will also be damaged the food poisoning will be uh, the food will basically develop toxic substances into it getting it yes sir so you you see why you are electroplating it with tin because iron is iron is more reactive to air while if you were to deposit a layer of tin over it tin is lesser reactive right now guys ये लेस रिएक्टिव होता है आयरन इज मोर रिएक्टिव टू द एयर दैट्स व्हाई ओके अरहान क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 सर आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी हैव टू टेल इन दिस ओके हियर द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन व्हिच ऑफ दीस टू सर्किट्स ए और बी शोस द करेक्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन हियर लुक हियर द डायग्राम बी एंड डायग्राम हम Why is it so, guys? So because so, positive the... capital makes the greenish blue spot on the potato. Yes, sir. Due to the chemical effect. Due to the the positive side effect. is uh, yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Positive side is which one? This one or this the one? The small right side, sir. This one is positive. A. This one is negative. Yeah. Right. Sir, yes, sir. Exactly, and this one here is cathode now. Cathode. This one here is anode. anode. Not talking about the wire. I'm talking about the two types of electrodes. Here, the wires are basically acting as the electrodes because it looks like simply the wires have been uh, peeled off and they have been inserted into this apple. Okay. Yes, sir. So diagram A shows the correct observation. Getting it now because the change is observed hey. at the cathode, the uh, color change. ओके और हम क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 ऑब्जर्व द फॉलोइंग सर्किट्स केयरफुली इन व्हिच सर्किट विल द बल्ब ग्लो राइट यस और नो इन द ब्लैंक स्पेस प्रोवाइडेड अलोंग ईच ऑफ द सर्किट गिवन इन फिगर 14.6 सर फर्स्ट टर्म अ पीस ऑफ कोल विल बी नो फर्स्ट विल बी नो गुड नो नेक्स्ट वन सेकंड विल बी यस यस इट इज सेकंड विल बी नो Eraser will be no. No. Good. Okay yes. then. The steel spoon yes. will be yes. Yes. Good. Right now. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Now next question. Question number eighteen, guys. Ahmed, look at the question number eighteen. Yes. An electric current is passed through a conducting solution. List any. थ्री पॉसिबल ऑब्जर्वेशन क्या क्या हम ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हैं वेन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज पासिंग थ्रू ए कंडक्टिंग सोल्यूशन रिएक्शन सर ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी सम रिएक्शन देर ओके दैट्स अ जनरल आंसर when electric change current is passing change in color good right now change in color can be observed good so first is change in color aur kya hum observe kar sakte hain second mm -hmm. like there could be deposition of metals also yes right. sir electroplating Yeah. So far, we have sir, but, been talking uh, about. Mm -hmm. So for electroplating, it is necessary for us to have um, electrodes. For uh, yes, it is necessary to have electrodes right now. Okay. So, but in the question, it's not written sir, like uh, there uh, is electrodes. 
it's not being mentioned because it's uh, the question has been uh, written in a general manner now okay what if uh, if there is to be electrodes connected okay so you have to list the all possible observations that could be found yes sir okay hmm. yeah okay so there, it's, uh, it's not mentioning is... it's not mentioning now that the current is being passed through wires only no electrodes are attached yes. simple it's saying that a current is passed to the conducting solution yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. arhan you were saying something so it's change in heat change in Maybe heat that's... right right exactly the solution might become hotter now yes sir the yes solution sir. heats up getting a formation of gas bubbles exactly very important gas bubbles can also be observed okay where will be the gas bubbles formed by the way uski formation kahan par hogi at the electrodes at the electrodes at the electrodes yeah. good okay next question is to arhan question number 19 yes sir read the question in uh, in the circuit given in the figure bujo observed that the copper is deposited on the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery pahli uh, tried to repeat the same experiment but she took a carbon rod as a negative electrode will copper be dip- still deposited on carbon rod explain your answer okay i believe question number 19 the question is not full question isn't here no okay okay the question is half yes guys question number 19 half liya maine na it's i don't know i don't have the ncert book okay okay question number 19 is actually incomplete here okay ahmed do you have the ncert book with you right now no sir not right now okay okay uh arhan please repeat the uh, repeat the question for us once again in the circuit given in the figure bujo uh, observed that the copper is deposited on the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery pehle try to repeat the same experiment but she could find only one copper plate therefore she took a carbon rod as negative electrode Will copper be still deposited on the carbon rod? Explain your answer. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The thing is now, the question is basically saying that Bujo observes that copper is uh, in this. In the first, let me draw the circuit according to the question. The circuit is somewhat like this. Right. Okay. So here, according to question, this would be the copper sulfate solution. Okay, and these two are the copper plates. Both of them are copper plates. Copper को short में मैंने Cu लिखा है, because the symbol of copper is Cu. Okay, this is also copper plate. Okay. Now the question was saying that. Um, would you basically observe that copper is deposited on the electrode? Which electrode? Cathode, no. Because cathode is negative, yes, and and uh, copper are positive. So copper will be depositing to the negative electrode cathode. because unlike charges attract each other, right? Okay. Now the yes, question, sir. the second part of the question, it was saying that Pahili was trying to repeat the same experiment, right, Arhan? But she yes, uh, she was able to find only one electro uh, one uh, copper plate, right? Now, okay. So in the next, the next part of the question, let's say C got C managed to get one copper electrode, but the second C C took the carbon electrode, right now. Yes, sir. Carbon rod. He managed to get a carbon rod. So in that case, the question is asking that will there is still be a deposition of copper on yes, carbon electrode yes, or not? Yes, sir. That is. That is what the question is asking. I I believe right. So there will be a deposition. There will be a deposition, right? Hmm. The yes, copper because you see what happens here again. The electricity is passed here, na circuit. तो हमारी complete हो रही है. 
circuit is complete here electricity is being passed through this copper circuit solution exactly so copper from this copper sulfate will be getting deposited over the carbon electrode still okay so copper yes, sulfate is dissociating into the copper and sulfate ions right yes, okay. Yeah. okay so this here the thing is that pehli uh, will still obtain a coating of copper on carbon rod copper ki coating yes, carbon rod ke upar bhi hogi okay Yes, question number 20 is also missing here okay na so we can skip that have a look at question number 21 then okay uh, whose turn it was i believe or so yeah yeah observe the following uh, circuit given in figure 14.9 current does not flow in the circuit if there is a gap between the two uh, wires does it indicate that air is a poor conductor of electricity Does air hmm. never conduct electricity? Explain. Hmm. So, yes. Uh, yes, sir. The uh, if there is a gap, the, the the electricity will not flow as the as the circuit is not completed. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Yes, Because air being a bad conductor, air is a bad conductor, bad conductor right? But yes, there sir. are some exceptions also, no. Does yes, sir. next part does, says does air never conduct electricity? Yes, sir. So, uh, uh, yes, sir. In case of does a uh, smoky air. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, whenever there will be presence of ions, dust particles, or pollutants in the yes, air, sir. okay, then it might conduct electricity. For example, have we not seen lightning? Uh, yes, lightning. What happens in lightning? Basically, two uh, uh, two regions of the cloud with opposite charges. Okay, they collide, okay. Yes, and sir. then electricity is generated. Right now, so what happens yeah. in the case of lightning? You guys are well aware of that. Okay. Yes, sir. So here, there's a rising water vapor. Rising water vapor. Can you get now? So the water vapors yes, are rising here. And at the hmm. same time, a same time, if the condensation takes place, then it will be falling as droplets of water. No droplets of water falling, right? Why? Condensation yes, ki wajah se. Getting it? Okay. Water yeah. vapor here are rising up. So here, yes, at one side, water vapors rise. Kar rahe hain. On the another hand. Condensed water vapor are falling down as droplets. So mm, there yes, will be friction between the two, and that will lead to generation of opposite charges in this cloud, thereby leading to generation of lightning. Lightning. Getting it? Okay. Yes, lightning. We it is being conducted into which medium? Obviously, in the air. Yes, sir. So in such circumstances, air conducts electricity. Getting it, guys? Okay. Yes, sir. Question number twenty-two. Ahmed, look at the question number twenty-two, please. Sir, it's not in the meeting. It's not no, here. No, he is. Sorry, sorry. Sir, he is. Okay, okay. Yes, Ahmed. Question number twenty-two. आप के लिए. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. Bhujo में the circuit shown in figure fourteen point ten. We wanted to observe what happened when electric current is passed through water, but we forgot to add a few drops of lemon juice to water. Will it make any difference to his observation? Explain. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. So, what will be your observation? There would be no. Uh, passing of electric current. Hmm. There will be no passing of electric current. Passing of electric current. Mm hmm. Okay. So here the thing is that it's not being mentioned whether it's a distilled water or a tap water. Simply tap water. Yes, sir. Simply, it has Not been mentioned water. as water. Water. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So we need to answer it uh, according to our understanding that if the water is distilled, agar ahmed, if the water is distilled, 
okay and you have not added lemon juice in it then the current will obviously not pass not pass, not pass through yes, sir right okay now okay and if you were to uh, take any any other water which is suppose let's say salty tap water <clears throat> yes uh, tap water or salty water then it they, we might see a, a current very will pass. Uh, a current will pass but a very feeble amount feeble magnitude of it will be current weak. will pass it will be weak okay yes, so the magnitude of current passing will be very feeble getting it now okay yes, all right also in that case also you might observe some bubbles evolving at the cathode side yes sir oh yes, sir. Okay. okay 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 let me see if i have taken some more questions okay so that's it guys okay i, I believe we have discussed sufficient questions from the chapter um, yes sir mummy karta hu you guys won't be leaving any questions in the exam if it comes from this chapter